Agile, connected, and efficient. And with the ability to go 30 miles per hour in just 3.7 seconds, the PAVE e-motorbike is the next generation in mobility. We're about to talk with co-founder Nico from PAVE e-motorbikes. Now they were born in Brooklyn, but they're perfect for the yachting industry. We felt that there was a little bit of a gap in the electric two-wheeler market, mm -hmm. um, where on one hand you had the traditional pedelecs and e-bikes that were priced rather in a premium category. And then you had the traditional motorcycle and scooter companies coming out with electric vehicles, mm -hmm. but not really doing much from a design standpoint. Now this is very minimalistic. That was part of the design from the beginning. Really wanted to make it look as simple as possible. It being lightweight, really easy to ride, intuitive, and combining that with the good aspects of the motorcycle, which is uh, more riding fun. Mm -hmm. uh, gives, gives you kind of an exhilarating feeling. Uh, the frame is completely aluminum, mm -hmm. um, and then you have uh, ABS plastic on the sides, and then the two heavy parts, really, of the bike are the motor, uh, mm -hmm. which is in the back, and the battery in itself. Okay. Um, and it comes, I mean, everything together weighs around 100 pounds. Oh. So aside from kind of the design innovation, we also wanted to make sure that the bikes are as technology forward as possible mm -hmm. and have state-of-the-art technology in it. Uh, my background is in computer science, so I've been always interested. I kind of in, guessed like, that. that <laughs> okay. In in terms of what like we can or what other interesting features we could build into the bikes that actually add a lot of value for the end consumer. Mm -hmm. And one of those things, so we've integrated blockchain technology to make the connection between you and the bike more secure. When you purchase a Pave bike, we'll send you your digital key. And then that key stores all the information about your bike. Think of it as a digital title, essentially. Right. Tell me about the anti-theft system. The bike uh, has GPS uh, built in. Uh, there's uh, 4G connectivity as well. Uh, so if someone was to walk up to the bike, try to shake it, you would get a notification because the bike recognizes that it's the owner is not nearby. Oh, okay. And once it says, uh, let's say it moves for a little bit longer, the bike will recognize that and it will go into anti-theft mode, mm -hmm. at which point the tracking will start. The Bluetooth, which also acts as a Wi-Fi antenna, uh, we have the GPS antenna, and then actually an NFC antenna as well. Mm -hmm. So say you don't want to use your phone, your phone's dead, but you still want to ride the bike. Right. Uh, the bike comes with an NFC card that you can just tap, okay. uh, and that will unlock it basically for you. So. Okay and you created an app also yes, to go with yeah, this and that's yeah. for the owners but then also to ride share you can monetize yes, your bike yeah so okay. which is new yes, right that's it, a totally it's, it's new a concept new that's Absolutely. awesome yeah owners can actually share their bike with other people in their network mm -hmm. and monetize it uh, which will make it in the long run even more affordable what do these bikes start at uh, 6900 okay that's the the price point kind of reflects of where we felt we can securely deliver a high quality product that mm -hmm. actually can last over a long time. We've always talked about uh, basically pave enabling people to be able to explore different parts in a different city. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the same thing if you own a yacht and you dock at a, in a place where you've never been before, you'll have a vehicle that will get you around very easily uh, mm -hmm. and with clean energy. Uh, All right, let's see you get on. No, wait, I'm going to get on. You should get on. You yeah, should get yeah. on the back. Thanks for watching Yacht Life TV. It was great to meet you, Nico. Very nice to meet you as well.